welcome to the Eaton Family Thunderdrome. It's the Muscle Car League, Meet 9, Season 9. Race 1 is a belter. The championship re-race from Meet 8. In Lane 1, we have the defending grand champion. He sits in first position. It's the Grand Sport Corvette. He has 28 points to the good with two meets remaining. They're never going to catch him. Lane 2, we have the 73 El Camino sitting in second position. Five wins, three seconds this year, 18 career wins. He may not be able to win, but he sure did give it to the Grand Sport last meet by defeating him. In lane three, we have the 75 Corvette Stingray. Eight career wins, two this season. I'm sure he would have liked a few more, but at least he'll be around next season to give it another go. Lane four, we have the absolute legend, 72 Ford Gran Torino Sport. 31 career wins, one this season, and four seconds. So many seconds. If only some of them were first, and he'd be right up there. And lane five, we have the rookie, the 70 Charger RT. Beautiful car, purple people eater, sitting in fifth spot. Three wins and a second. Three of the top five in the first race. That's always a good way to go. Can the El Camino Ute stick it to the Corvette again? Or will the Corvette come out for some payback? Let's find out. Camino leaps onto the flat. The crowd is on his hammer. El Camino is coming past. The Grand Sport Corvette past him. The Grand Sport Corvette wins on the outside. He's back in the game, baby. Grand Sport Corvette says, Cop that, El Camino Ute. Payback. This meat is mine. Race two. We've gone from 108 career wins between the first five to just 37 between these boys. In lane one, we have the 68 Corvette Gas Monkey. Beautiful, angry looking car. Seven career wins, one this season and two seconds. Lane two, the rookie, Toby's 87. Buick Regal GNX. So much promise. One career win and four seconds. A case of what might have been Change those four into wins, and he's right up there with the rest. He should go well against this field. Lane three, we have the 68 Chevy Nova. One career win. Bottomed out this season. I, I reckon it's going to be adios to him. A couple of thirds, the best he could do. Lane four, we have the 69 Dodge Charger. This car is a beaut. Wow, 25 career wins, but only one this season. That's not good enough for a top five car. That is just not good. And lane five, we have the 68 Ford Mercury Cougar. Three career wins, one this season, three seconds. All these seconds. Turn them into first and you're going somewhere. But if you don't, they're just what might have been. So yeah, the favorite of this race is the Buick. Let's see if he can keep up the lofty standard. Who joins the Corvette Grand Sport in the championship race? Good start for the Cougar in five. Charger catches it in four. Buick's coming up fast in lane two. It's the Buick. Edging out the Dodge Charger by a second. Wow. The Buick Regal takes the win. The favorite tag did not weigh him down one bit. But hell, it was a close race. Good race. Race three. 
37 career wins between these five. You take out the 31 from the Maverick Grabber. Six left over between the other four. We've got some inexperience and we got some nufties. Lane one, 67 Ford Mustang Coupe. This is a hot looking car. I love this car. Three career wins, won this season. Hasn't done much, but he's done enough to come back next season. Lane two, we have the 65 Ford Mustang Fastback. Another beautiful car. Hasn't lived up to expectations. Couple of second places, but that was early on in the season. He's kind of tapered off since then. Desperately needs a win. This is about as good a field as he's going to get to do it. Lane three, we have the 68 El Camino Ute. Three career wins. Done nothing this season. Second in meet five. That's the best he's got. Lane four, the absolute legend. 1974 Maverick Grabber. Oh, it's a nice one. 31 career wins. One this season and a second. Just taking it easy. A few more wins would be nice. He is the race favourite. Lane 5 with the CT7 Chevy Camaro in the Hot Wheels Racing Trim. Ooh, this is a good looking car. Love my Camaros. 67 especially. But he's been disappointing. A couple of thirds. Early in the season. Has done absolutely nothing since. As I said before, this is a good race. They're all of an equal standard. Uh, this is the one to win. Who gets that third spot? Let's find out. Grab is making a move in lane four. He's past the Camaro. Must think him up fast on the outside. Trying to catch him, but will not. It was close, but no cigar. Legend, the veteran, the grabber, takes the win. He wasn't going to ever lose a race of that standard and not be able to hold his head high. Race four. 25 career wins. What can you say? It's a big, big drop. Again. In lane one, we have the 67 Chevelle SS396. This is a beauty... Oh, what might have been with him? Two career wins in his return season. Second in meet seven. It's the best he can do. Lane two, we have the Plymouth Superbird 1970 model. Five career wins, two this season. Lane three, Toby's 71 Plymouth Roadrunner. Oh, I love a Roadrunner. This is my favorite car. Just as you got the Mustangs. Ten career wins. Two this season and a second. Lane four, we have the 57 Chevy Bel Air. He is not as hot as he looks, just the one career win, two seconds. And lane five, we have the race favorite, is the 69 Copo Camaro. Seven career wins, two wins this season and two seconds. Pretty dismal performance for a car who ran third last year. But he is the favorite. It's time to step up and prove. Raise up against the, the Plymouths. Let's see what happens. Hot starts in the road, he's the flat first in lane two. Belair's cruising in four, he's past the Camaro, he's past the Plymouth. Belair wins. A late charge from the Chevelle picks up second. Surprise, surprise, I'm checking my eyes. The 57 Chevy Bel Air comes through for a, a lasting win. Oh, 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 oh. oh, he has secured another season of mediocrity. We got one spot up for grabs remaining. For race five, we got 92 career wins between these five. We say the best. For last, have we? In lane one, we have the 69 Copo Corvette. He's a legend. 25 career wins. One this season and, and a second. Down on form. 
Lane two with a 92 Ford Mustang SVO. This is a hot rookie. Currently sitting in third position. Four wins, four seconds. He is the race favorite. He should do it in a canter. Lane three. This guy won't go away. It's the 67 Pontiac Firebird. Six career wins, two this season and two seconds. Lane four, absolute legend. 69 Dodge Daytona. Came fourth last season. Has 54 career wins, but can only manage three seconds this year. In... The nine seasons he has raced, he has never gone through a season without winning at least one. If he doesn't win one this season, he could. He could be going. Adios to the Daytona. That would be a sad end to a legend. And lane five, we have the 67 Pontiac GTO, Stars and Stripes. Currently sitting in fourth position, three wins and two seconds. He's hoping to give the Mustang a run for his money. I know a lot of people out there are thinking, come on, the Daytona, come back, baby, come back. Oh, he's up against it, though. This Mustang is quick. Who gets the final spot? Daytona hits the flat in the lead. The TPO is coming up fast on his hammer on the inside. Mustang's cruising up in two. Oh. It's going to be close. It's going to be a photo finish. The Daytona holds off the Mustang for a must-needed win. I am excited for this championship race. Meet 9, Season 9, coming to the end of the season. we got a cracker for you here. 140 career wins between these five bad boys. Whoa. In lane one, we have the defending grand champion, the Corvette Grand Sport, 38 championships, six this year, runaway race favorite. It's for his to lose. Lane two, Toby's 87 Buick Regal GNX. Just his second championship race of the season. He made one in meet one and ran last. Race 3, the legend, the 70 Ford Maverick Grabber. Four championships. He was in one earlier on in the season, and he came third. In lane four, 57 Chevy Bel Air. This is his first championship race of the season. He's only ever made two. Let's see if he can do any good. And lane five, absolute legend, 69 Dodge Daytona. Don't kick a dog when he's down, he'll bite ya. 28 championships. This is his first this year. He's happy. He gets another season. We're going to see him again. It'd be a shame not to. And he revisits the old rivalry against the Grand Sport Corvette. They had a great one. It's been a, a while. The Grand Sport Corvette has proven a much better car of late. More championship victories. Same amount of Grand Championships. That's gonna change at the end of this season. The Grand Sport Corvette. The banner will pass to him. Well, let's see. Let's get it over with. Can the Daytona have a dream win? Daytona's pumping in five, he has the lead. Grand Sports past the Buick on the outside, he's past the Daytona, he's looking in the dust, it's the Grand Sport. Winning the race, Buick second, Daytona came up with third.